In today's video, we'll cover three different diving adventures that went tragically wrong in three consecutive years. All these divers were attempting to set a new record in deep diving at Lake Garda, Italy. What happened to them? Stay to the end to find out. Lake Garda, the largest lake in Italy, is a famous lake where many people spend their vacation. It's located in the northern part of Italy on the edge of the Dolomites. The amazing rocks you'll see at Lake Garda alone are sufficient to keep you in awe, not to mention the mystifying wrecks that have been lying at the bottom of the lake for many years. During the Roman era, the lake was called Benicus, as a reference to the god Benicus, and sometimes it was associated with the cult of Neptune. But it's being called Lake Garda today as a toponym of Germanic origin established since the Middle Ages. The name Garda was adapted from the Germanic word Varda, meaning guardian. Lake Garda is a popular deep diving location because of its extreme depths, as we will see later in this video. On July 6, 2019, Sebastian Markzewski and other divers went to Lake Garda to set a depth record in deep diving. Sebastian was a hero from Afghanistan and a dive instructor with over 20 years of diving experience. He started his diving adventures in Lake Hancha, where he came from. Apart from being a diver, Sebastian was also a professional soldier who risked his life as a volunteer soldier and a combat team commander for Afghanistan. Though he got injured in the war zone in 2009, Sebastian still believed that every soldier must validate himself in a war zone, particularly on the front line. That was how determined and courageous Sebastian was to do whatever he wanted to do. Sebastian's love for diving was second to none, as he kept pushing himself to set records in deep diving. He set the depth record of 787 feet in this same Lake Garda about two years before his last diving adventure. Having recorded a 787-foot dive, Sebastian was ready to set another amazing deep diving record to go to 1,115 feet. He believed in himself that he could reach that depth. Was Sebastian boasting of his ability when he planned to set another record? No, it doesn't appear to be that way, as he acknowledged that to be a winner in life, you must have a strong spirit. During Sebastian's preparations for the world record in diving, he was interviewed by some of the editorial team who were curious about whether he considered any health-related issues, equipment failure, or his public image in the record he was about to set. Sebastian acknowledged the risk attached to his career and deep diving. But he recognized that beyond great equipment and great people supporting the dream, the place of luck should not be overlooked. He said that luck will be needed because sometimes it might go wrong since diving poses a big risk to human health. In diving, about 98% of accidents were attributed to human error and the remaining 2% to failed equipment. So while preparing for a dive, all these must be taken into consideration. Also, Sebastian spoke about his public image with the new record he wanted to set. He said he has never declared that he would reach such depths, but he had just said he'll try his best, but not at any cost. And to him, reaching a depth of about 988 feet out of 1,115 feet would be a huge success to be celebrated. On July 6, 2019, Sebastian Markzewski and other divers went to Lake Garda. They began preparations for the grand finale dive at about 5 a.m. Sebastian entered the water at 6.22 a.m. He descended to the depths for the long-awaited dive adventure. According to the dive plan, the support diver was at a depth of 328 feet to meet with Sebastian. After about 100 minutes into his dive, the support diver was at the predetermined depth, but Sebastian wasn't found. One of the divers then descended to about 522 feet in search of him. From there, the diver saw a static light down in the depths, some distance away from the descent line. He couldn't go further than where he was because the gas in his cylinder wasn't enough for such depth. So he returned to the other divers. They were all waiting for Sebastian to return. After three hours of fruitless waiting, another diver descended into the water in search of Sebastian. He went to the depth where the static light was seen, but also couldn't reach it. When he got back to the surface, he reported that he wasn't able to go to such depths. 
In response, they called for help at the Italian emergency services to notify them about the situation. A rescue boat was sent to them, which tracked the body of Sebastian with the help of sonar at a depth of about 558 feet. At about 7 p.m., almost 11 and a half hours after Sebastian entered the water, his body was recovered from the water. From the EMS, they were able to discover that Sebastian got to a depth of about 1,093 feet and later began his ascent. It was also discovered that he unhooked the acquired depth marker before he began his ascent. Unfortunately, during his ascent, one of his cylinders got entangled in the guideline while he was trying to return to the surface. He had ascended beyond the 656-foot mark to the surface when he got entangled. He later succumbed to death after many struggles to free himself from the entanglements. Deep diving wasn't suggested as the cause of Sebastian's death because he had already reached the record and was already ascending. Also, he was used to diving to depths of around 656 feet, and dying at this depth seems weirder than could be imagined. Unfortunately, there has been a similar tragic incident in Lake Garda. In 2018, Adam Pollock attempted to set a new record in deep diving. His goal was to reach a depth of 1,093 feet, to go beyond the recently set depth record of 1,092 feet by Ahmet Gabe. However, his dive never went as planned. The most feared incident in deep diving happened. When his diving buddies couldn't see him return to them, they raised an alarm and the rescue services came to the accident scene in search of Adam. Also in a bid to rescue him, a remotely controlled ROV robot was sent in search of Adam. However, after searching for him, the search team that dove into the water was able to recover Adam's body from a depth of about 932 feet. There has been no report of the exact cause of death at the depth he was found. One year later in 2017, Václav Lechko, a 38-year-old famous Polish diver, made his way to Lake Garda in an attempt to set a new record in deep diving. Václav, together with his two diving buddies, wanted to go to a depth of 902 feet in an attempt to go beyond the recently set depth record of 863 feet by Luca Pedrali. They began their dive around 8 a.m. They started from Aeroporto do Tremosini. After about 50 minutes of diving, Václav didn't show up at the place where they staged their cylinders. When his diving buddies discovered that something had gone wrong with Václav, they called the emergency services. In response for their call for help, divers from Tremosini and Limone, two villages at the lake, came to the scene. Also, some firefighters came to join the rescue team. The Salon Coast Guards patrolled the waters of Lake Garda in search of Václav. Again, an ROV robot was sent into the water at about 4 p.m., eight hours after Václav entered the water. The robot continued searching until about 7 p.m. when it later found Václav's body at about 756 feet. The robot was also used to bring the body to the surface. The cause of his death is not known. Václav Lezhko had two record-breaking depth attempts in the same year as this fatal accident. First, he was able to dive to a depth of about 764 feet, and his last dive was 817 feet. It is evident that diving is a sport that has taken many lives, yet the deep keeps calling. One can only contemplate whether diving should be restricted to shallow diving alone or remain the same. Same lake, three lives were tragically lost in three different consecutive years. How many more to go? We would like to thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed watching, take a dive on the like and subscribe buttons and hit the bell icon so you get notified when we come back with another exciting cave diving story.